Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be um, letting you guys know what my financial goals are for this new year. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And if you like cash stuffing videos and channels, hit that like and subscribe button, leave me a comment and let's get started. All right, y'all. So this is my budget for the month of January, my budget spread. I wanted to come back and show it to you guys because the last thing I was needing to fill in to show you was how much I was going to be stuffing this month for my 52 weeks saving challenge. I had to go back and add the numbers. So this month we are stuffing $59 in our 52 weeks saving challenge. Right, so we will go ahead and open up the pocket planner and see what we have left in our cash envelopes. And these are um, out of stock guys and I won't have pocket planners back in the shop until March. Um, so A6 planners are on their way. Pocket will be back in March. So for spending, we spend everything. So there's nothing left in there and i usually just flip through but somebody had commented saying they wanted to see inside the envelope so i was like okay um for gas i spent thirty dollars so i have twenty dollars left i've been spending less on gas my gas budget was actually at like 40 or 45 dollars and i had to go up and now for the last several weeks i have not been spending fifty dollars so I'm gonna keep it at 50 and just keep an eye on it and adjust. For eating out, I spent $13. So I have five, six, seven dollars left. For groceries, I did pay for these online and I spent $43. So that $2 is in the bank um for home i did not spend anything and i actually do need something so i'm contemplating rolling this money over but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my saving challenges and see what happens and then also in medicine i ended up not spending any money in my medicine category so i have ten dollars left i'm gonna put this 10 to the side and let y'all know about that. In my beauty envelope, I did spend $100 for my nails and my pedicure. And it usually does not cost this much, but I did like a little deluxe pedicure this time. So plus the tip, so it was $100. So I have $100 left for the month. And so this is just gonna stay in the beauty envelope. and I don't have anything that needs to go to the bank. And then this week I did move ahead and scan my uh, receipts for my Fetch Rewards. So now we will move to stuff in the rollover and saving challenge envelopes. All right, so this 20 guys is going to go to my LASIK envelope. I rarely ever have 20s left over, so this has not happened in like months. So I'm just gonna stuff this in there and then we'll get it together when I come back to the sinking funds. And then this 10 that I put to the side from my medicine envelope, I want to start rolling over my medicine envelope to my medical sinking fund. So my medicine envelope is for like my over-the-counter medicine, my allergy medicine, ibuprofen, things like that. My medical envelope is like in the event that an emergency pops up, um, I need to go to the doctor. I need to go to urgent care, stuff like that. I broke a blood vessel in my toe a couple months ago and I had to use this fund for that. So um, I went to urgent care. So that's what that's for. Okay, so my clothing envelope is going to get the 10 and the fives. So that's 20. And I will be using this envelope soon because I need a new purse. The purse that I currently carry is too small. So I need to buy another one. So I have 50, 100, 110, 
And then my prime envelope gets the ones. Now these are not saving challenges, so I do exchange the bills out of these envelopes. So that's why you see 20s in here. So for prime, I have 20, 40, 60, one, two, three, 64 dollars in prime. So next guys, I'm gonna come back with those cash envelopes and we're gonna stuff them for the week. Okay, actually y'all, I made a mistake. I forgot to stuff my 52 week saving challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and flip right over to that. And this week we are putting in $2. So I took the $2 out of my prime envelope and I'm gonna stick it in here. And these are the newest cash envelopes in my shop they are the zipper cash envelopes with chrome vinyl in silver and in gold for your saving challenges and then i have the trackers available as well for different challenges and then some blank ones um, in case you're doing challenges that i don't have listed so now i will be back with the cash envelopes all right y'all so this week spending will be getting twenty dollars Gas is going to get $50. Eating out will get $20. Groceries, $45. Home, $15. Medicine is getting $10. And then beauty, I'm only stuffing once a month, so that doesn't get anything. All right, y'all. So today we are stuffing $322. And my sticky notes are currently out of stock, but they just shipped to me. So they'll be back very soon. I'm gonna go ahead and get the money in the tray. I don't know if anybody else is like me, like the bills being folded up on the corners are a bit annoying. <laughs> Okay, so starting with my spending envelope, it is going to get $20. My gas envelope will be getting the 50. Eating out will also get 20. Groceries is getting 45, so 20, 40, and five. Home is gonna get 15, so 10 and five. Medicine is getting 10. And again, Beauty already has $100 for the rest of the month. Okay, y'all, so starting with the birthday fund, it's going to get its usual $5. And in birthday, we have 50, 100, 5, 10, 15, 21. So $121. My business envelope is going to get $5. I did just recently start a new series on the channel. If you haven't seen it, 
um, where I have created business, small business sinking funds, and I will be stuffing those on Tuesdays. Uh, I stuffed the first one this past Tuesday and I listed it in the evening, but I probably will start listing it around lunchtime, but I don't know. Y'all let me know if evening or lunchtime is better. And, um, so I do plan to do away with this sinking fund now that I have small business sinking funds, but I'm starting out stuffing them pretty small. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to stuff this one just until they grow. And then I'll go ahead and do away with this sinking fund. And what I did do was decrease the amount that I'm putting in now that I'm stuffing additional sinking funds. So I was putting in 15 a few times and I went to 10 and now I'm just going to put $5. So in business, we have one, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 10, 20, 35, 45. So 345 dollars in business. My outings envelope is going to get $10. And I constantly tell you guys how clutch this envelope is. As you can see, uh, my sister's birthday was this past week. So I had a good stuffing with the uh, saving challenges, the end of the year saving challenges. And then we spent a lot for her birthday. So I have 30. Next is going to be my LASIK envelope and it's going to get 20. And we put that we put that 20 in from my rollover envelope. So I'm going to add that 20 and then add this other 20 for a total of $40 that we stuffed this week or that we are stuffing this week. And in LASIK we have one, two, three, four, four fifty, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty. So six hundred sixty dollars. Car maintenance is next and it is going to get 25. And I did get the car maintenance, uh, I think last week. So she is all taken care of. So on car maintenance, now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91. Next is my miscellaneous envelope that I'm using to fund my future moving out expenses. So we should have 110, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110. Next is my travel envelope. It will also be getting $5.
if you guys like my nails um i get tons of compliments on them and i appreciate all of them <laughs> um but because uh, it's not easy keeping up with my nails y'all like i like i love nails but it's not always easy keeping up with them but i do it because i really you know i want you guys to enjoy what you have to look at so um but if you like them i do have a, a partnership with madam glam they have given me a special link for my subscribers only where y'all can get 30 percent off so that is a lot of savings 30 percent all of their nail polishes are gel nails um, or excuse me gel polish it's vegan it's cruelty free um and um yeah they're just beautiful so <laughs> that link is down below if you are interested so in travel we have 50 70 80 90 95 100 105 110 For gifts, we will be putting in five dollars. And that gives us a total of fifty, seventy, eighty, eighty five, ninety. 95, 100, 1, 2, 102 dollars. My next round of gifts will be in the months of April, May, and June. Those are some heavy hitting months. When I tell y'all, listen, my dad's birthday is in April. My mom's birthday is in May. Mother's Day is in May. My parents' anniversary is in May. Father's Day is in June those are some heavy hitter months so i am really going to try to spend these few months leading up to that i need to put more money in that medical is going to get 20. and we had that 10 from the rollover medical uh, medicine cash envelope so we are stuffing a total of $30 today. And in medical, we have 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 6. $406. And the last of these envelopes will be my church envelope and it is going to get $10. <clears throat> Should have us at 140. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140. So that is going to be the end of these ombre envelopes. I'm gonna come back and we're going to stuff my zipper envelopes. All right, starting with my invest envelope, I'll be stuffing $2. And y'all know my link is in the description box to join Robinhood, get your free stock by linking your bank account. One of my subscribers ended up getting an Apple stock, uh, which is insane. Like y'all, I haven't even gotten that. So definitely go ahead and sign up if you want to, you know, start out investing risk-free. So in invest, we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 dollars. And 
Electronics is going to get $18. So that'll be 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I am using this fund for a new phone. Um, recently, I think my phone jack, uh, charger jack started kind of messing up. Like sometimes my phone won't hold a charge. So I actually may have to get one sooner than I'm, than I want it. But if that happens, you know, at least we have something to work with. I really want to pay my phone off when I purchase it. So in electronics, we have one, two, three, four, five hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety five, six hundred, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So six hundred fourteen. My emergency envelope is getting $7. So in emergency, we now have 1,025, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 1,042 dollars. Giveaways is going to get $3. The next giveaway will be at 13,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in giveaway, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I may have to start putting more money in here, um, depending on how long it takes to get there so that I have my money and I'm ready. Texas is going to get $5. And in taxes, taxes, we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 310, 315, 320, 325. So 325. I am hoping to start paying taxes monthly this year um, instead of waiting until, you know, like the end of the year or the tax season to pay like one big old bill. I'd rather just pay it monthly, but I'm going to need some assistance getting that set up. So I'm going to wait until I go see my tax guy. Hopefully that will be in February. Christmas is going to get $5. And I will be using this envelope this month. Um, or I mean this weekend, excuse me. So... 105 10 15 16 17 functions is going to get five dollars as well
I need to get this one back up to 50, I mean not 50, $100. And once we get there, I'm going to stop stuffing it. So we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. I think I'm gonna rename this envelope holidays because that's what I use this money for, like holiday functions um, mainly. And then future is going to get $2. The last two. Or we should have three, 45. One, two, three hundred, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. So that's going to conclude um, the sinking fund stuffing, guys. Lastly, I'm going to come back and show you guys my financial goals for this new year. Okay, y'all, so these are my 2022 financial goals, and I'm just gonna briefly go through them, kind of explain a little bit in case you all may have feeling, um, feelings, <laughs> questions, and then go to the bottom and talk about how I will achieve these goals. So my first financial goal is um, to increase my income, increase my revenue, all that good stuff um, and basically how you increase income as a small business owner is just to like stay consistent um, continue to like bring fresh things to your shops or your stores whatever you have going on um, to market you know you have to market yourself whether that's in person online however you do it so basically that's going to be you know how I intend to increase my income is just continuing to stay consistent and market and you know bring you guys things that you want things that help you things that make your budget more fun more relatable more enjoyable because budgeting is not really fun you know like it's not fun you kind of have to make it fun with all the little things that we do some people may not understand or understand why but you would be surprised at how having cash and using envelopes and all this different kind of stuff how it makes you want to use your budget and stay consistent and when you use your budget and you stay consistent you see results so um i love bringing things to the shop for you all to freshen up your budgets and everything like that so that you can stick to yours and see those results as well next goal is to create a student loan repayment plan so when I was a teacher, the my plan for repaying my student loans was to do the um, go the public service route, forgiveness route. Um, it's like four letters that make the acronym, but I don't know them in order. But it's basically if you have any kind of job in public service, you can pay on your student loans for 10 years at the minimum payment. You can do income based driven uh payment so pay on your loans for 10 years at the minimum payment after 10 years whatever is left is forgiven and it qualifies um federal loans qualify for that so any kind of private loans that you get for school or that you may have used for school they don't qualify so all of my student loans except for one qualified for the public service loan forgiveness plan um, the one that didn't qualify, I think it had a balance of like $2,000 or something. So um, initially I was going to go the route of, I forget the name of the forgiveness plan, but it's basically like when you work at a Title I school for five years, so much money can get taken off your loans. I think like 15, maybe even up to like $20,000 can get taken off of your loans if you worked at a title one school for five years and so i worked at a title one school um so i was gonna go that route first use that money to pay off the two thousand dollar loan that doesn't qualify for public service and then um you know divvy up the rest of the money to pay down the other loans 
And then once that loan was complete, or excuse me, that forgiveness program was complete of me getting fifteen, twenty thousand dollars taken off, then I was going to officially join the public service loan forgiveness uh, program. And um, I had not officially joined it, but they said that as long as I can prove that I've been working as an educator, that my payments prior to officially joining still count toward my 10 years. So with all of that being said, that is no longer um, where I am. I am not teaching anymore. So that public service loan forgiveness program doesn't, uh, it doesn't apply to me anymore. So with everything going on with COVID and they keep pushing the, the payments back and I'm grateful for it, I'm not complaining at all because I have literally been able to uh, focus on other goals like paying my car off and things like that, not having to worry about student loans. So I'm not complaining at all. But um, I do need to still be mindful of whenever they come back. I know they say, I think in May, um, we have to start back paying. I need to be mindful of how I'm going to handle my student loans now that I'm not teaching. Next is pay off my Wells Fargo credit card. So um, with a prior business that I had in 2017, 2018, I um, used credit cards to finance the business and got into a lot of debt. That's how I got into my debt. Um, so I had a total of 11 maxed out credit cards and a car loan. <laughs> So now 2022, God is good. I have one credit card left and that is that Wells Fargo. All other 10 cards are paid for. My car loan is paid off. So we literally just have one more consumer debt. That's my goal this year. Next is solidify stocks investment plan. So I'm very much into stocks. I have some penny stocks with Robinhood. I've done stock option trading. My brother just taught me how to do binary stock option trading. So um, my overall goal is to just kind of figure out my place in the stock game. Right now, I'm just like trying out different stuff, trying to see what could really work for me. Um, I definitely plan on stocks being a part of my retirement plan. So. I'm just going to keep continue working on that this year to try to solidify what route in stocks I want to go. Do I want to keep trading options? Do I want to just invest in stocks like I'm doing, starting with penny stocks and then getting bigger stocks? So I have to figure that out. Next is continuing to grow my penny stocks. So um, I have quite a few of them, thanks to you all, <laughs> um, with the Robinhood link. But again, most of the stocks that they offer you are penny stocks. So it's not like the big stocks, but you can sell them, you know, and eventually buy you a bigger stock if you want to sell them. That's why I always promote the link and, you know, let you all know like, hey, sign up with my link. You get a stock. I get a stock. You get your own link, put it on your channel, put it on your social media and all that good stuff. So definitely want to just continue growing those. Next, I want to hire help. So um, I'm not at the place where like I desperately need help or anything. As long as I kind of plan out my work week, um, you know, it, it, it goes really well for me. And so I do have moments of being overwhelmed with the shop when I have sales or I have new planners that come out. So usually my parents will step in and help me during that time. Um, but my little sister is trying to leave teaching. She's in her second year and she wants to quit after this year. Um, so I'm just trying to see how I can bring in my sister, bring in my mom, um, cause they're both interested in, in leaving the districts as well. And I definitely want to help them do that because I love being an educator, but you cannot pay me to go back. <laughs> so that we're going to work on stay on track with my travel budget. I did lots of travel traveling before I got into debt. Me and my best friend like went all over the country. It was so fun. Um, it was probably one of the most fun times of my life because just seeing new things, meeting new people, going new places, it is just so fun. So um, now that my finances are not jacked up, I only have one more consumer debt. Um, you know, 
I want to get back to enjoying God's earth and his creation and seeing different things and not just being so stuck in Houston, Texas all the time. So, but I want to stay on track with the budget. So I'm going to create a whole plan for my budgets for traveling and I'm going to share them with you all once I do that. Next, I want to complete all of my saving challenges. And really I should have put, I don't want to pull from them. So that's a big thing for me. This last year, I did not have to pull from my saving challenges at all. And I don't want to pull from my saving challenges. So that's a big goal for me. And then of course, for all of us, I'm sure, save as much money as I can. I plan to achieve these goals by consistently reviewing them Sometimes we make goals and then that's the end of it. We never look at it again. <laughs> so I want to make sure I'm consistently reviewing them and then check them off as I achieve them. So I have these little expense trackers. That one I had to cut because, yeah. <laughs> but I will probably just like, you know, check or make some notes. Some of them will be ongoing as far as, um, um, let me see like my stock investment plan that'll probably be ongoing growing penny stocks that's ongoing but you know as soon as i pay my wells fargo card off i want to check that off um at the end of 2022 check off my saving challenges this will be ongoing and then at the end of 22 be able to see how i stayed on stay on track with my travel budget check that off if i can end up hiring help this year check that off so this is what my goals are looking like and I hope that you all um, enjoy knowing about them. This is pretty fun for me to set up. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, also, don't forget on this coming Tuesday, I will be back with my small business sinking funds, cash stuffing, and I would love to see you over there on that video. If not, then I hope that you have a great weekend and I will see y'all next week. Bye.